Okay, so we have plugged in our leap, so it's very small. Uh, we'll have some pictures. You can check out a gallery of that. And we've headed over to leapmotion.com slash setup where you can download the Windows or Mac version of the Leap Motion software. Uh, it's a very easy download, very quick, doesn't take that long, easy to set up. And once you set this up and you sign up for an Airspace account, you can actually go into Airspace. So this is sort of the home base slash hub of Leap Motion Controller. So it has all these great apps, games, and different things that you can use with Leap. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the orientation first so you can see sort of how it works. So this is where it sees, begin, we're going to wave our hand over the Leap Motion Controller. And you can see we have the screen and it's going to see our hand and we're going to be able to move all of these lovely things around, um, which is very cool. So I'm going to put my hand down so that it knows that I'm done with this particular scene and it's going to move on. So now we have this sort of three-dimensional space that we're going to move our hand in. Uh, we can move forward, we can move backwards, and we can move our hands around again. Like I said, if we want to add a second hand, we can do that. Uh, we can play around with all these great things. And this is actually what the Leap sees, which I think is really cool. Leap Motion Controller will allow you to sort of see how it views your hand. So here's my hand right here which is kind of amazing. Like this is such a cool, um, a cool thing. So you can see what it's seeing as I'm moving my hand. Obviously there's a little bit of drop off in here and I'm guessing that's probably because of the device's size. I probably can't capture as much uh, in terms of range of sight as something like say the Kinect would be able to, but still really cool to see it sort of capturing your hand and its motion. So now Leap's gonna teach us how to draw. So we're going to, uh, we're gonna draw hopefully a TB. So what you end up doing in leap is there's a hover zone so you can see there are these circles and once you get close enough to the leap it registers that as a point so now it knows we want to touch the screen and i've gotten close enough to where i can have all five of my fingers drawing at the same time if i only wanted one i could easily do that um and i'm not even going to bother drawing a tv because well quite frankly it's kind of difficult to do so you would draw pull and then push again and you have no idea where your finger is going to show up on the screen and that is orientation for leap motion control. So now uh, we're in Airspace Home and I'm gonna show you guys Touchless for Mac. So this is uh, a program that Leap Motion has put together to allow you to control your Mac or Windows computer. Uh, I used it a little bit earlier and it's, it's a little squirrely, I'll be honest, uh, but let's check out Touchless for Mac. So we open up the app and once it installs, it will actually give you some options up here where you can choose your interaction. If you want to disable it, you can. If you want to go intro, basic, or advanced, you can also do that. Um, I will click on the getting started guide uh, so that we can sort of see how exactly it works. So it can be used to create a virtual touch surface in the air, um, and it's going to tell us exactly how we can use this to control our computer. So it wants us to sort of test out different touch things. So we can see here's hover, so it says I'm in the hover zone, and as I get closer, there's the touch zone right there. So here's hover and touch, hover, touch. So scrolling is really interesting. They actually are controlled by circular movements that go between hover and touch. So let's test this out. So here's our hand, okay, and we have to get into the touch zone and then we can move the screen. So we move forward and down. So here we are scrolling. Uh, if we want to go sideways, we can throw this way, we can throw that way. Uh, so that is how you can move in 2D space with the leap motion controller. We're going to go to our site. And we're going to try to, let's try to, uh, let's try to scroll. So on this, we actually have to scroll up uh, instead of down. Uh, but you can see it does work. So um, it's, it's interesting. It's such a weird thing to be able to sort of control your computer this way. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of airspace really quick before we go. Here's the airspace store. Uh, which I think is awesome because there's some things in there that can be used for educational purposes like frog dissection. It's very, very bizarre, but also a really good use of the technology. And there's, of course, photo effects where you can sketch, cut the rope. They've got games in here. Uh, and also things like air beats where you can play the drums. But generally speaking, a very interesting product. Not necessarily something I'm going to be switching to for daily use, but certainly uh, maybe a glimpse at the future of motion and gesture controlled computers. Um, we've already seen so many technology advances with things like the Kinect. So I think this is just a logical extension or logical progression of that technology. It's not quite ready for prime time. Uh, 
hands-on wise, I would say it's not quite ready for someone to make this their full-time control on their computer. But overall, a really cool piece of technology, lots of fun to play with, and definitely the future in terms of our PC control and, uh, and things that we do. So guys, it's not far off. It's definitely not far off to have this sort of minority report interface like Tom Cruise had and he was throwing stuff around and it was amazing. Um, but it's now just still on our computer screen. So that is Leap Motion Controller. If you want to learn more about it, you can go to leapmotion.com. Uh, and of course, always go to technobuffalo.com for all of your consumer electronic news. We've got the latest and greatest unboxings, uh, unboxings, first impressions, hands-on, and everything in between. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. What's up everyone, John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today. If you want to check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.